In this video, you'll be shown a step-by-step -step procedure for writing formula, total ionic, and net ionic equations for a neutralization reaction. An aqueous solution of sulfuric acid is mixed with an aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide. Write a valence formula equation, a valence total or complete ionic equation, and a balanced net ionic equation for this reaction. We'll start with the formula equation. The formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4 and it's aqueous, so we add the subscript AQ here. The other reactant is potassium hydroxide, which is made up of potassium or K plus ions and hydroxide or OH minus ions. K plus OH minus ions can be combined to give the formulas KOH. And we're told that potassium hydroxide is aqueous, so we write AQ here. To find the formulas for the products, we write down all the ions present in the reactants, H plus, SO4 2 minus, K plus, and OH minus. We combine the outside ions, H plus and OH minus, and that gives us water, or H2O. Water is a liquid at room temperature, so we write the subscript L for liquid here. Combining the inner two ions, K plus and SO4 2 minus, gives us K2SO4. Remember the positive ion is written first in the formula. So what do we write for a subscript on the K2SO4? Is it solid or aqueous? Looking up K plus on the solubility table, we see that all compounds with K plus ions are soluble. That means we write AQ here for aqueous. The K2SO4 remains dissolved in solution. It's very important at this point that we balance the formula equation. If the formula equation is balanced, the other equations will automatically be balanced when we write them. We have two k's on the right and one k on the left, so we write a coefficient two here. We have two h's and two oh's on the left, so we balance these by writing a two in front of the h2o. Not counting the SO4, we now have four h's and two o's on both sides. And notice we have one SO4 on each side, so SO4 is balanced, and the formula equation is now finished and balanced. In part B of this question, we're asked to write a balanced total or complete ionic equation. To do this, we dissociate all the aqueous compounds into their individual ions, and leave the liquid as it is. We start with the aqueous H2SO4. It dissociates to give two H plus ions, which we'll also identify as aqueous and one SO4 2 minus or sulfate ion, which is also aqueous. When an aqueous compound is dissociated, both ions that it produces are aqueous. Dissociating 2 KOH gives us two aqueous K plus ions and two aqueous OH minus ions. Remember that the coefficient of two in front of a compound means there are two of both ions present. The two water molecules are liquids. So we bring two H2O down to the total ionic equation without dissociating it. Liquids and solids in the formula equation are not dissociated in a total ionic equation. Just copy them as they're written and bring them down. The K2SO4 is aqueous, so we must dissociate that. We get two K plus ions and one SO4 2 minus or sulfate ion. In part C, we're asked to write a balanced net ionic equation. A net ionic equation is what we get after we discard the spectator ions. Notice there are two aqueous K plus ions on both sides of this equation. They are identical, so K plus is a spectator ion, so we circle it here. Also notice we have an aqueous SO4 2 minus ion on both sides. So SO4 2 minus, or sulfate, is also a spectator ion in this case, so we circle that as well. If we discard the spectator ions, all we're left with are two aqueous H plus ions and two aqueous OH minus ions on the left and two liquid H2O molecules on the right. So we use these to write the balanced net ionic equation. So we write down 2H plus aqueous plus 2OH minus aqueous gives 2H2O liquid, and this is our net ionic equation. If you'll check, you'll see that this is already balanced. Taking a closer look at the net ionic equation, we see that the coefficients are all twos. We can simplify this equation by dividing all of the coefficients by two which gives us simply H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous forms H2O liquid. So we can summarize by saying that this is the balanced formula equation, this is the balanced total or complete ionic equation, 
and this is the balanced net ionic equation. Note here that H plus plus OH minus forming H2O is the net ionic equation for many neutralization reactions.